guys. Hey, hey. Am I live? Are you guys able to see my face cam? See my, I guess able to hear my audio and everything. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, there was there was a there was a glitch. So the I actually tried going live, but uh, you know I was I was on a different page, and then I couldn't see any uh, any of you guys joined there. But uh, yeah, I guess right now we're live. And sorry for uh, sorry for that. Okay. Um, <clears throat> All right, cool. So, just wanted to do a quick uh, catch up with you guys. It's uh, it has been a gap for one week, and then uh, and I was caught up in all the wedding prep, so and it was so busy last week, so I couldn't do a stream. And uh, just thought I'll just catch up with you guys and see what's going on and uh, start off this week. So yeah, thank you guys for uh, joining in. Thank you, thank you. And uh, yeah, whoever is. Um, just just post in chat whatever you guys have been up to and uh, you know you guys having a good start to the week and all that uh, but before um, we talk about other things I just wanted to set the agenda for today's session we will be just talking about NFTs and investing in NFTs you know, just thought have a kind of a small chit chat with you all um, to talk about NFTs so and investing in NFTs by the way, and if, if, if also possible, I'll just show you guys some uh, stuff that I've been uh, doing in Metaverse and DeFi. So I'll just show that as well, if possible. So before that, let me know what you guys are up to, and we'll just get started talking about a bunch of different exciting stuff. Let me just share my screen. I have this website open. By the way, Lakshit has a question, what NFTs should we buy? Um, you should buy those NFTs that uh, you believe have some true value. I mean, that's that's a pretty vague answer, but uh, yeah, that's what I feel because see, most of the things that's happening in the NFT world and uh, this whole Web three thing is still uh, still a dark area for for a lot of us. And then uh, you know, just to figure out what's what, you know, it's going to take some time. So probably. Uh, if you're new to investing in cryptocurrencies and Web3, you know, I'd just uh, I'd suggest stick to uh, investing in cryptocurrencies for now and invest in some of the big top cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, Ethereum, uh, Matic, Solana, and Cardano and things like that. But uh, if, if you're, you know, I would suggest not to take a lot of risk because investing in NFTs requires a lot of money and uh, that's one thing. And also it's going to take a significant portion of your um, portfolio, let's say if you have a portfolio of worth 10 lakh rupees, you know, let's assume you're investing in um, an NFT that would cost two ether right now, and I'm probably considering that uh, an ether costs one lakh rupees. And if you invest in an NFT or buy something that, that would cost two ether, uh, which is like from a really good collection, it's going to probably take up like 20% in your portfolio. But it's uh, on the contrary, let's assume you invest in an NFT, which costs, costs you like $100, or $150, now probably invest in something that's that's art. Um, it's still going to be a significant uh, chunk of your portfolio. So I, I don't think you should be doing uh, any investments in NFTs and uh, metaverse or any derived investment stuff. And I said derived, it's like, it's not directly crypto, it's another form of investment inside the crypto. So crypto is uh, your Bitcoin and Ethereum, but uh, any derived form is your DeFi, you know, yield farming, staking your uh, tokens and coins and all that. But you know, so just not to uh, jump right away in, into those things uh, unless you have some money to, you know, just forget. That's 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 how it is. Uh, <clears throat> what of NFTs should we buy? Before buying NFTs, you should definitely do a thorough due diligence because it's not it's not easy to you know if I just go towards this so uh, this is the home page of OpenSea right now and if i just say pop culture the pop culture uh, it's not uh, not pop culture let's just look at um some other uh, bowie on the blockchain so this is this seems to be like a verified collection so let's say uh, it says this collection belongs to a verified account in a significant industry sales so that's how OpenSea has verified or made uh, you know some sort of a filter or like you just you can just glance through a name of a collection and just say that 
open C trusts it because there has been a you know, good volume of sales in this and all that. So Bowie on the blockchain, um, it says that 15 items, right? Uh, it was created in, you know, last month, September. I can see uh, in keeping with the legacy that has ranged from redefining the parameters of life, performance, and gender roles in popular music to pioneering methods of digital distribution and online community building to constantly championing new and undiscovered artists and technologies. David Bowie's undying influence will impact the new frontier. But also, see, the main thing that you want to look at when you're investing in NFTs is, is what's, what is the value that's uh, that's being created. See, of course, when you, when you talk about art NFTs, when you talk about NFTs for images and paintings, it definitely has immense value because of uh, just one aspect, which is digital ownership. You know, nothing can ensure digital ownership, true digital ownership, like a blockchain can. So from that sense, you know, there are a lot of art collections, NFTs, which have done really well, right? So, but also uh, beyond that point, uh, beyond uh, investing in an NFT, you sh the main thing that you need to see is what's the value that this, uh, the creator behind this NFT collection or any NFTs is, is going to give you, is going to provide you, right? So that case, so in also in analyzing all these different kinds of NFTs, I'm still a beginner. I'm just still learning and exploring all these different kinds of uh, NFTs that are there, but one thing I've done a fair amount of research and investment is the is the metaverse NFTs NFTs that are concerned with metaverses, you know, these land uh, tokens, land NFTs, and all those things. Uh, so yeah, I've done a bit of research there, but I'm still uh, also a beginner and then you know learning a lot of things. There are so many things to explore. But when it comes to art NFTs, when it comes to NFTs, um, otherwise, which are you know uh, use cases. Uh, which are not for metaverse, I'm not really sure. So I just finished college. Just look, uh, it's good to know. Good to know. I just finished college and uh, Charvi says, got holidays, chilling at home. Got holidays? Uh, no, you're studying, you're studying, uh, you're in the middle of your semesters or something. I don't know. Uh, big, uh, NFTs create good asset value. Um, NFTs, you can uh, see. It depends on how you look at NFTs. See, NFTs, you can you can just look at them as, you know, of course, anything that exists on the blockchain is a digital asset. But um, but also, it depends on what's the kind of value that you're looking at. See, when you're investing in something, you can look at value uh, in terms of price appreciation. You know, you could probably later on flip it to someone else who's willing to pay a higher price, and then. Um, yeah, just flip it over to someone uh, for a profit. So that's that's so that's value there. You know, um, price appreciation is, is is that sort of value. But also, um, if you're looking for invest, so uh, in this case, you, what I did was uh, I invested you know, last in my last stream. I talked about my investment in uh, in metaverse real estate. So that's also again comes to you as an NFT, right? So any anything that's represented as a digital token is you know. And NFTs, non-fungible tokens, it's also a sort of token. So that comes to you as a, as a token, again, so as an NFT, I mean. So in that, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with it five years from now. Probably just you know, flip it over to someone who's willing to pay a higher price, or probably benefit from that profit, or uh, you know, just keep it there and then uh, you know, do a lot, do all kinds of different things. You, know, you can stake your uh, assets, you can, you can rent it out and all those things. In that case, it's it's investment. So the value that's uh, getting created there is your return on investment, right? So let's say you have some uh, piece of land on a on a, on a metaverse um, DAP, and then you decide to rent it out. You know, let's assume you bought it for five lakh rupees, and you just get fifty thousand rupees rent on it every year. It means like, you know, it's going to take you ten years to break even, uh, but uh, yeah, just roughly speaking. But after that, whatever you get is profit, and you still get to keep the uh, keep the land, keep the asset, and also enjoy the price appreciation on that asset as well. So right, so it's different kinds of value that you that you're looking at when you're investing in NFTs and all those things. So I'm studying uh, doing my second year Navratri holidays. Oh, okay, you're studying second year. I'm assuming you're studying second year engineering a degree or something, right? Because you might be in the middle of your semesters. What kind of NFTs should we buy, and how can we gain profit out of it? So, as I said, you, know, you can buy NFTs which are, um, yeah, which are good in value. But, but you know, if you don't want to, if you are someone who has 
you know, a lot of money lying around and you just want to uh, you know do some trading stuff on nfts you can just go to open sea and then take a look at some of the some of the you know like big um, collections board it uh, club is one of the biggest when nfts uh, were booming so the flow price when you started from price low to high the flow price the minimum flow, flow price starts from 80 ether right so 80 ether is in terms of uh, USD, it's hundred thousand dollars. Right? Hundred thousand dollars is probably like. Um, I don't know. Let's just convert this. Convert this uh, to I don't know, like a piece. So if you have that kind of money lying around, you can just go and invest your money in one of these, um, you know, highly illiquid NFTs, and just hope you, you know, someone you can flip it over to someone later on, probably two or three years from now, who's willing to. Pay a higher price for it, or probably some company who wants to rent it, right? So, yeah. But if you're looking at you know making quick profits, NFT is one of the dangerous venues out there. You know, one of the riskiest because see, you just go to um, uh, one of the biggest marketplaces in the world for NFTs is Open So You just go there and you see what are what are the things that are trending, and uh, you see gangster all evolution. Uh, it's just open one of these training here because it was very fair. I just clicked on it, and then if you see, you know, this these are the things you just come here and read your description. You just uh, let's assume you're all convinced and you're sold, right? You come here and you see probably short price go to high, and you see the the cheapest uh, piece of this collection is available for 0.4 ether. You say, you know, one because you decided to buy it, but you actually you don't really know what what you're investing in, right? Because unless and until you go and you know, go to this website. And probably this is just a sufficient level of research that you can do. You know, just go into this website and see you know, all these fancy things going on on the screen. And then you say, you know, here's the Discord link, here's their OpenSea collection link. And here's you know, probably the Twitter. Go and follow them on Twitter. If you decide to invest, if you decide to know or do your research before investing, you know, just go to their Discord and whatnot. And then, uh, yeah, you just do all the research that you can about them, right? And just see what's the what's the roadmap like? What's the kind of NFTs they are uh, doing? What's the what's the value that they are creating? You know, what is it for? What's the utility of those NFTs and all that? You're, are you uh, uh, you know are you going to be a part of an exclusive club when you buy those NFTs? And what's the um, what's the demand like? Uh, that's when you're trying to trade NFTs, right? So you can just uh, buy it for 0.4295 ether and then probably flip it over to someone for 0.5295 ether. You know, just giving you a profit of 0.1 um, ether, and then probably, probably in, you know, in a matter of week, probably five, six days, seven days, ten days, right? 0.1 ether, and then uh, <clears throat> yeah, hundred dollars, hundred fifty dollars, um, hundred twenty, hundred thirty dollars profit in in one trade for one week. It's not bad, right? So yeah, but it's very hard to find uh, NFTs which are you know really trading like that. But yeah, it, you know OpenSea is one place. There's also something that's called Looks Rare. And also there's Rarible and all that. But I would say you know if you're looking at like regular trading or you know, you know some serious stuff, then NFTs trading NFTs is is the last thing that you need to look into because that's you know, it's one of the most complicated things. So NFTs can be rented or is it in a metaverse you're referring to NFTs. See, NFTs is not, one of the use of NFTs is in metaverse. You know, if you want to um, sell whatever the piece of land that you created as a game company or a development studio, if you want to sell land, you know, it's, you know, to represent it as token and uh, you know to uh, to enable true digital ownership of those things you know, to, to ensure that this is the limited set of things and uh, it can only be um, you know non fungible. You issue them as NFTs. Right. So in our last week we looked, we looked at sandbox metaverse and uh, yeah we looked at the land NFTs that they have. So that's NFTs. That's one of the use cases of NFTs. You know, you can you can tokenize digital assets. You can tokenize assets and then uh, yeah, you can represent on them on blockchain and then you can just issue it to people. You know, uh, so if I have one piece of land, uh, you know, for example, in the, the sandbox metaverse, uh, we have uh, 166,464 units of land. So, which means that we have 166,464 unique NFTs, right? So, if you just buy one piece of land, it's going to come to you as one NFT, and nobody else can replicate it. Nobody else can take it away from you, right? Nobody else has um, a land which is, which represents the same uh, features or same 
value, right? So that's the that's the case. So that's one of the use cases of NFTs. Yeah, that's how that's why NFTs. Um, yeah, that's why they just distribute it as NFTs because for you know people look for uh, true ownership, people look for scarcity, people look for transparency and all that. So that's the reason people look for you know, assets getting tokenized. So that's the reason. But also, you know, talking about NFTs that can be rented. Sorry. Um, uh, there were quite a few. Um, companies or startups that are working on, um, you know, renting your uh, NFTs. But also, again, you know, I don't understand what's the point, and uh, I haven't done any research into this, so I haven't been into this. So there's this website, there's this went called Renft or Renft, and then um, I think they just wanted to, you know, spell rent and then put F in front between N and T. Just to make that so probably a lot of different things you know if you want to invest in uh, nfts you want to borrow some nfts for various different purposes so there are also a lot of different companies which are working on renting nfts there are all kinds of startups which are working on uh, fractional nfts you know, partial nfts where uh, you know if you, if you go to an nft like this probably like board apr club has like ten thousand unique nfts and if you see the cheapest one uh, you know starts with starts from 80 um ether so what if uh you know, instead of just having one guy pay 80 ether which is uh, you know insanely huge amount you know 84 lakh rupees pay all that big amount and then buy nft for himself what if there was a way to uh, you know split this nft into different chunks and then uh, probably make it like i don't know uh, 100 uh, parts and then give it out give it away for 100 different people who are willing to pay you know 0.8 ether or 0.79 ether uh, you know each of these guys so there are also people who are working on fractional NFTs as well. Fractional NFTs. I don't know. I'm not. Uh, I'm not uh, you know, keeping up with the NFT space in, in, in particular. I'm not reading about all this uh, in-depth articles and news that come out. You know, how does NFT fractionalization work? This is actually, by the way, this is an article on the Binance blog. So if you, if you want, you can go and have a look. So fractionalization. Greater liquidity, you know, which is again the, the best thing that can happen for any digital assets, be it crypto or any uh, new crypto projects that are starting out, or be it any any asset that's on the crypto, which is you know, like very um, very liquid and very not not that popular or something. Greater liquidity, it's definitely one of the best things that can happen. Increased visibility for creators. How do fractional NFT lovers benefit? What are the disadvantages? And you know, people who are creating these NFTs, people who are behind the collections of these NFTs, can create all kinds of different values and then uh, you know if there, if there are a uh, hundred people who are holding uh, fractional nft fractional parts of one just one nft they can the, the creator can still provide value uh, to all those hundred people right so you can it can still be an exclusive community it can still be exclusive um, all those things that come with exclusivity of nfts and all that so it's it's definitely uh, not going to change the game it's definitely not a paradigm shift you know, when we do nfts was um, you know fractional nfts Certainly a good thing that can happen to NFTs. People who want to invest in NFTs, you know, if they don't have like 80 Ether, but they still want to invest in Board API Club because they because they love the project, they can still do it. They can just go and pick one uh, pick one of these NFTs that, that uh, that's offered or that's issued fractionally, and they can just uh, simply uh, you know start investing there. But yeah, <clears throat> besides that, um, yeah, I just wanted to quickly catch up with you guys and see what's going on. Uh, and then probably just talk about a bunch of things. If you guys are, um, if you guys are uh, going to share some some topics in the chat, we can uh, just chit chat about that. Or if not, I probably might end our discussion here for today and probably talk about um, NFTs and investing in NFTs a little bit more tomorrow as well. Um, as I said, you know, since we had a week's gap, just thought I could, uh, you know. Just catch up with you guys in the start of the week and then see what's going on. Just talk a little bit about investing in NFT and, and all those things. But tomorrow, I'll also show you about uh, show you a little bit about DeFi as well. You know what's uh, DeFi? How you can stake your DeFi assets and your cryptocurrencies. So you can earn a little bit of extra income on the side and all that. I'm going to show you tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, definitely um, check out tomorrow's stream. Uh, definitely follow me on Creative Club. Hit that follow button below if you haven't followed me on Creative Club. Uh, already and uh, yeah tomorrow I'll be looking forward to tomorrow's stream uh, possibly 
we'll be doing some investment, live investing. We'll be doing some, um, you know, DeFi stuff now that we'll be playing around with some things. Um, but yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait to uh, show you guys all kinds of interesting things. It's a bunch of things I uh, want to show you guys. But yeah, for people who are you know, wondering which NFTs are good, we are not really going to talk about which NFTs are good, which what's the NFT that you should be investing in, you know, at least not today. But yeah, we'll uh, definitely talk about it probably tomorrow or in some future stream. We'll start researching about some NFT collections and then see, um, you know, what can be good for investments and all that. We also, but mostly for in the for in, on the investment side, we'll be mostly talking about stocks and uh, cryptocurrencies. You know, we will uh, you know, start sessions where we do live trading of cryptocurrencies, live investing, and all that. But yeah, just um, yeah. I wish I I wish I could uh, show you guys because last week I um, you know as I said every start of the month I make some um, regular investment in crypto. So I wish I could uh, have show you guys, but uh, yeah, probably next time. You know. So what are the trending NFTs to keep a watch out soon? Yeah, as I said, I'm not really keeping up with NFT market because uh, it's, it's too much. It's too much for me. I'm just I'm getting involved in game five, D five, and all that. But uh, you know, adding another field along uh, just to keep myself updated. It's, it's really hectic and it's you know it's really tiresome. So I'm not doing that. I'm not keeping a tab on uh, what's happening in the NFT market. So probably sometimes every now and then I get off. I get on and get off from the market for NFTs and uh, specifically. But besides that, don't really keep a watch on what's going on, like day in and day out. How do we make extra money? You make so there are various different ways you can make extra money, especially when you talk about blockchain and cryptocurrencies, right? You know, aside from the technical uh, stuff, aside from blockchain development stuff, it's also DeFi. There's yield farming. You know, you can stake your uh, stake your cryptocurrencies that you've already invested in, and you know, just just make a good little interest as a side income on the side, and then uh, also you know just benefit from. And not having to sell your um, your cryptocurrencies also benefit from the value appreciation, price appreciation of the cryptocurrencies as well. So you know, just put it as like a put it like a fixed deposit and just you know keep earning um, annual percentage yield for it on the side. Right. So <clears throat> how much should we invest to make money? I mean, so the only goal has to be for every rupee that you invest, uh, you know, you have to make. Um, you know, more back. So if you invest one rupee, you know, you guys should be make it make another rupee out of it, right? So probably if you're like if you're investing thousand rupees, the goal should be to make thousand rupees out of it. You still get two thousand in return. So think of it that way. But uh, you know, talking about actual amount of uh, money that's required to start investing in cryptocurrencies, you, know, you can start from ten rupees or hundred rupees, you know, as much as um, very little money as possible. So because you, know, you don't have to buy a full crypto, so it's you can do partial or fractional investing in cryptocurrencies. You don't have to buy a whole Bitcoin if you you're de decide to invest in Bitcoin. You can just buy 10 rupees or 100 rupees worth of Bitcoin and just you know, keep it in your wallet, right? So that's the advantage of uh, investing in crypto. But also the downside of investing in crypto is this, you know, it's highly volatile, it's highly risky. So yeah, there's no uh, compliance and governance um, you know, that's um, as stocks or your stock market, right? So, okay, so I can talk about which NFTs in the future sessions. Yeah, as I said, you know, probably we'll uh, start doing some sessions where we do some analysis and research into these NFT projects and then, um, yeah, we'll take a look at what's good, what's going on, what's the project like. I think crypto would be a better investment than NFTs. I wouldn't say that because, see, NFTs uh, is again another uh, application of blockchain, right? So you just issue us tokens. And then cryptocurrency is. So again, as I said, you can think of it this way, right? You can you have money instead of saving it in your uh, bank account or investor, instead of investing in something else, you decide to buy a painting which might, um, you know, go go up in value, right? So think of it like that. But you take the risk of uh, that painting, uh, you know, going down to nothing, right? So instead of um, what are the uh, investment that you make, instead of that going to, let's say you're, you're trying to invest in stocks or you're trying to invest in your, you know, fixed income streams like fixed deposit or something, instead of you know, that bank going bankrupt, um, think of it like, what are the chances of that, the painting, um, you know, being valued for nothing in the market, right? So that's a higher risk that you're taking. The chances of the bank shutting down us, uh, is, is way less, way minute than compared to uh, the painting that you bought 
for you know same amount of rupees. Let's say you have one lakh lying around instead of investing in a in a bank or a fixed deposit. You know, it's uh, if you're investing it in a painting, thinking that you know probably you can, next year you can sell it for two lakh rupees. That's a higher risk that you're taking. It's a high risk, high reward game. So that's the difference you should be you should be looking at uh, investment in crypto crypto currencies versus NFTs that way. But yeah, so uh, I think that's all I had for today, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. This was a pretty short stream. Just as I said, just wanted to catch up with you guys and uh, you know sync up on what's going on. Although as I said, you know we're starting that Discord server. You know you guys can join this Discord server, and I'll just post um, you know, this link. Or uh, no, probably I'm just trying to uh, you know sell exclusive membership to that Discord server. Probably you might have to just pay 150 or 200 learn tokens. I'm not I'm not you know, trying to charge in terms of money or something. Not fiat currency. Just trying to charge in terms of learn tokens, and then probably you can pay some you know, 200 learn tokens or something, and then you know join the Discord server. It's gonna we're going to have fun in the Discord server once it's started. And the Discord server is already there. I'm just uh, you know, waiting for the right stream or the right session to you know, just launch. So with that being said, um, what is Learn Tokens? Learn Tokens is uh, this uh, token that you earn uh, when you keep watching streams on Creator. So if you watch my stream on Creator Club, you know, you'll earn something called Learn Tokens, which is, again, you know, all these kinds of different this, uh, cryptocurrencies that you see, like Ethereum or uh, Matic, now, these are just cryptocurrencies, but again, as opposed to that, we have a lot of different uh, tokens like the SAND token, like your, uh, you know, all these kinds of tokens which are, uh, you know, like, which are not like cryptocurrencies. Tokens are not like cryptocurrencies, but just a digital representation of, um, you know, of any asset. In this case, all these uh, SAND tokens and all those things that you uh, keep hearing about, they are just fungible tokens, which means that, you know, one SAND. You can just replace it for another sign token. It's all this matic or ether, all that, but non fungible tokens. It's, it's, uh, it's the other side, right? So, learn tokens is uh, something that creator awards or rewards the viewers for uh, you know watching streams. So, I'm actually my streams are actually learn token enabled. So, whenever you watch my stream, you get uh, you know learn tokens. So, you can just go and go on your profile details and then see what's the amount of learn tokens you've accumulated. So probably you know um, you'll be able to pay some uh, probably like 150 or 200 learn tokens and then uh, you know join the Discord community. So just to uh, make sure that people who are um, you know who are coming on who are coming on board and uh, you know they really do want to genuinely uh, hop on board, right? So just putting a paywall in um, in terms of something that you can easily accrue, right? Learn tokens. I don't want to be charging like 100 or 200 rupees from uh, each one of you who wants to join. Just learn tokens as well because you would have accumulated more than that uh, just watching my stream. So with that being said, probably I'll just uh, end my stream here for today, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. And until then, take care and have a good evening.